by default, we run the deployment process as root. However, what if you do not want to deploy the EDM server as root? Some of our customers require a non-root deployment. This video will demonstrate how to accomplish a non-root deployment and will emphasize the minor differences from a regular root deployment. We will review the prerequisites for a non-root deployment. We will use the special deployment option in the configuration manager to specify non-root deployment. We will finish the configuration, test and deploy our EDM server. Finally, we will even verify that the daemon will start after a reboot of the machine. The first prerequisite is to choose a standard user that can log into the machine, have privileges for the installed directories, and execute the utilities to and from the targeted directory. In our demo, the standard user will be hperry. We need to verify that the standard user, hperry, has proper configuration of nproc and no file set in the limits.conf file located in the etc security directory. The user should have at least 65,536 as shown here. hperry, the standard user, should be the owner with full control of the following directories. Mentographics underscore data, Mentographics underscore data slash utilities data, Mentographics underscore server, WDIR. At this point, hperry will launch the configuration manager. We will configure the server and specifically, under the deployment options, select non root level deployment. This indicates that we would like to have a non-root deployment. Now, we will verify that hperry is the owner of the target directories and has the required privileges for the server directories, the embedded database, and vault directories. After saving, we are ready to continue with the workflow. Verify hperry has permission on the backup directory. Test the configuration. And we can now start the deployment of the EDM server. At the end of a successful deployment, we will see a reminder that if we want to have the MGC MDS daemon automatically start after a system boot, a root user should copy the provided daemon script to the etc init.d directory. Otherwise, we will have to start the daemon manually after every boot. It is important to remember that after deploying the EDM server as a standard user, we must run all the utilities using the same standard user account, hperry. If we run a utility, as root, or with a different user account, we might have to fix permissions for any new files created in the EDM server directories, or worse, undeploy and redeploy the server to overcome such permission issues. For customers that would like the EDM server to be deployed with a standard user, Mentor Graphics provides a non-root deployment option. In this video, we reviewed the prerequisites for this process and we demonstrated a full deployment process as a standard user. Thank you.